Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. We're going to come back to a reel that I previewed, and this reel is the Pen 6500 SS. This was the one that was having the problem when you tighten down the handle, it stopped turning. Well, I found that this replacement handle was missing a collar, and what was happening was this this handle was actually pressing against the collar here. That's why everything came to a stop. Uh, there is no adaptation of the collar, but I was actually able to do a, a, a bush fix for this one. I found a line roller that has the same dimension as what a collar would be, and I was able to use that as a spacer. So that's corrected that problem. But when I did that, I noticed that there's a horrible grind going on in this reel. And that usually means bad gears. So today we're going to show you how to take the reel apart, how to remove and replace the main gear and the pinion gear. And I say that as a pair because if you're going to replace one, you might as well replace the other for two reasons. The first is that one, can da one damaged gear can damage the other. And the second one is if you put a match set of new in, you don't have to worry about one of the ones having extra wear than the other one and uh, maybe causing premature wear on the new part. So the parts, well, they're not that expensive. doesn't make sense not to replace both if you're going to replace one. It's sort of like you have worn tires on your, your vehicle. Uh, maybe the left side tire is not quite as worn as the right. You, you might as well get them in pairs. Uh, just because, well, it's just going to make sense. All right, so in order to replace the main gear and the pinion gear, we got to take the whole reel apart. So if you're trying to service a 6500 or any of these uh, edition of the Penn Spin Fishers, well, just follow along because you'll see the complete take apart of the reel in order to do this, and you'll be able to, uh, to go ahead and service your reel in addition to just replacing a few parts. To start, you remove the three side plate screws. And as I remove the pieces of parts from the outside, I want to encourage everybody to subscribe to my channel. And if you do subscribe to my channel, please uh, use that notification button so that you can see all of the ones that I'm posting. All right, so we have two screws. You notice I rotated down. We have two screws that are holding on a plate that locks that axle shaft into play against the cross wind block and those screws have to be removed in order to remove the axle. If you tried to pull the main gear out right now, well it's, it can come out but to get to the, the pinion gear you have to remove that axle shaft. So let's go ahead and do that. On some of these pen reels you cannot uh, remove that main gear because that main gear has got a back gear that drives the oscillation gear that's bigger than uh, or has a slot that's bigger than the post and it kind of gets wrapped in. In this case that one just comes out. All right, there's two screws that come out and with all of my pieces and parts I'm putting them into a parts tray. That parts tray helps keep me track of where the pieces are when I go to reinstall. So we removed that, that flat piece of metal. Now we can remove the axle shaft and uh, the axle shaft is going to enable us to remove the cross wind block and the cross wind gear. Now this is what you would be doing if you were servicing the complete reel in addition to just replacing those two gears. You'd remove all of the pieces, you'd clean the internal body, you'd inspect all the pieces and parts, and when you do that on this one, it may be a little hard to see, and of course I've had this apart already because I knew I had to order the parts, but you'll see that there's worn teeth here and again on this side over here. That's what was causing the grind. Now why it's worn, not sure. But I always tell you to examine the face of these for spacing and the sides. And you can see right here on the side of this that the points on these are decidedly worn more than well over here with those nice sharp angular teeth over here. They're all worn down. That's what's causing the issue with this wheel. All right, well we got two new pieces. Fortunately, on the 6500 series, these gears are still available. On the 
50, which was the series before, uh, they're no longer available. So uh, you have to find a donor reel in the aftermarket to, uh, to get those. Well, if we were simply replacing the main gear, that would be easy. We would just go ahead and plug this back in after uh, doing the oil and greasing and you'd be on your way. But as I mentioned, you want to get a match set, both new, so we need to replace that pinion gear. In order to do that, we need to remove the rotor. To do that, you want to grab a wrench. This comes out in a counterclockwise manner. I like to start by loosening it, and then I like to take the rest off by hand. Put that into the parts tray. Then you should simply be able to lift up on your rotor. And you'll see we have two sets of anti-reverse overrides here. We have a dog here that you can control with this switch. That's the noisemaker. If you move this out of the way, you won't have the noisemaker. And then this is the anti-reverse one. That gets controlled by the eccentric lever down here. And both of these are in the off position now. And we need to do that because we need to remove the collar, the bearing, and the anti-reverse mechanism in order to replace the pinion gear. We're going to do that by removing the screw that's holding in the forked anti-reverse dog. You do not need to remove the other anti-reverse dog unless something's going wrong with it. When you take that out, note the orientation. Take pictures along the way. Note the orientation. I get questions from time to time. My anti-reverse is failing on this reel. Why those two forked tines, one on each side of that click ratchet, uh, are losing their tension? Sometimes you can pinch that back in. Sometimes you have to replace the piece. In this case, it's working. All I'm going to do is just wipe off the the old grease that's accumulated in the center here. If I needed to be a little bit more aggressive than wiping off, I would use steel wool there. And then we need to get the orientation right on the dog. These are the four tines I'm referring to here. And the orientation is so that the beak of the anti-reverse dog fits into the angle on that ratchet. Okay, with those out of the way now, we have three screws holding up a collar that's holding the assembly on. There's also, speaking of a collar, there's another collar here. Don't lose track of that. All right, we'll take the three screws out. I need to keep these parts out of the way because it's real easy to knock those parts around, and if you lose those parts, well, at a minimum, you're going back to some shop to get additional parts. Worst case, you've lost it and the part's not available, and then, well, you're out of luck. All right, that's the second one. And I make a habit when I take these off of putting them on my table just to make sure that all of the screws are the same screws, size and width and shape. If there's a long one or a short one, then you want to uh, take a moment and mark the location. That's the collar that comes off. And again, you did not need to touch this one. Now we should be able to pull this out. That one came out easy enough. Of course it did. I knew that the thing needed to be serviced. And here's your old gear. Now as I'm looking at that, I'm not really seeing an issue with this. But again, it just doesn't make sense to replace one, not the other. So we'll just set that off to the side. Here's your new gear. We're going to use fishing reel grease. This is pen precision real grease to get started with the reinstall of this now. So again, if you're servicing this, you're doing exactly the same thing. You want to remove that bearing. You want to remove the pinion gear. You want to inspect the parts. You want to use fishing reel grease to get it re-lubed. And then you want to reinstall. So there you go with the pinion gear. Again, I've checked these before. I'm just going to do this for illustration. You want to oil your bearing. That's got a shield on it, but it's not a sealed bearing, so the, the oil will work its way in. And then this is your uh, stack. And there's one more piece that goes on top of that, which you can also put on now, and that's the collar 
between the bearing and the anti-reverse click ratchet. Right. This goes back in then. Again, if you're servicing this, go ahead and take a cotton swab or something. Make sure that the inside is clean. Make sure that the underneath is cleaned. And when you remove that pinion gear, well, it gives you access to the back of the case there where you can clean it up and all so that you don't have any old dirts and that lingering behind. All right, this gets installed right back in. Now we can take the collar. The collar goes in next. Slide that under. And then those of you who watch these know me and these little screws don't get, get along very well. So if you want to go take a uh, beverage break, come on back in a minute or two and I hopefully will have these in. I use a dab of grease here on my screwdriver just to kind of hold them. And we'll go install the three of these. While I'm doing that, if you have any questions on uh, reel repair, maybe you're working on this reel and you're stuck somewhere, maybe you're working on uh, any, well, any kind of reel, and you have a question about that reel, maybe where was it made, when was it made, uh, maybe you've got a particular problem with a diagnosis of an issue, you just can't seem to solve it. If you leave that uh, in the question, uh, comment section, leave your question, I'll try and answer that for you. So this real, this channel is does it, uh, dedicated to real repair. It's trying to teach you how to do it yourself. I, uh, somebody said, well, aren't you concerned that, well, maybe uh, you'll lose business over it? No. I can't fix all the reels in the world, and I don't want to fix all the reels in the world. And there's plenty of room out there for the do-it-yourselfer, the hobbyist, the folks that want to learn how to do this, maybe even create a small business. That's all certainly welcome. And I, uh, I enjoy sharing this with you. I wish you good luck if that's your, your choice. All right, that bearing came out of the back. There is a felt washer that's uh, between the cap and the bearing. And that's, uh, that should be oiled, so we're going to go put some oil on that. We'll reinstall that bearing. Again, make sure your pieces and parts are cleaned and that they're lubed. This one was just done. We're going to reinstall that oscillation gear. And I find with the oscillation gear, for whatever reason, when I go to put the crosswind block in on this particular model, the point sh needs to be up. It just doesn't seem to have the clearance when you go to set that with it all the way down. So grab your oscillation gear, grab your cross wind block, slip it in. I need to mount over the stud. And then once you have that over the stud and at the top, that's when you can uh, kind of roll this. Just grab a little pick, pull it down, and now it's on the bottom where it makes a lot more sense and easier to do in terms of a reinstall. This is our new main gear. We're going to go ahead. We're going to put a healthy dose of grease. And again, this is that pen precision wheel grease. We want to grease the front and the back. The back is going to intersect with that cross wind gear, and that's what's going to make it go up and down. And you also want to put a little bit of grease on here, which is going to be where the inner race of the bearing goes. You take that whole assembly now and put that in. And I'm probably ahead of myself. I'm probably going to go put that rotor on and have all of that stuff fall out. But uh, that's okay. All right, we'll grab that rotor. Oh, before we do the rotor, we've got to put that anti-reverse system back in. So again, get yourself set up on the anti-reverse. Make sure you have good tension on those forks. Find the flat side of the pinion gear. Rotate the pinion gear around so that you can get the clearance for the anti-reverse dog. All right, tighten that down. If you like, you can put a little drop of oil onto that assembly. Give it a turn, make sure it's working. You can notice it's pulling in, so it's doing what it should be doing. 
hold your assembly, put the rotor on. Grab that rotor nut. So we're fortunate. We have a pen wheel here that's probably 30 or 40 years old and parts are still available. So when some folks ask you, you know, what's, what's the big deal about pen? Well, one of the things that's the big deal about pen is that it still has parts support. I got these parts from, uh, well, kind of from mysticparts.com, but uh, they're a great supplier of uh, all things pen parts. If you need something like the gears here, that's a great place to go. All right, just put our axle shaft in. When you put your axle shaft in, line that flat spot on the axle shaft to that block. And you want to grab that middle bar. And if you haven't done so, I would recommend that you take pictures along the way. For example, with this, if you got stuck somewhere, a picture would be invaluable in terms of giving you the orientation and a look at what it was before you took it off. And that way you can see when you're going to put it back on that the uh, piece needs to be installed a certain way. All right, this is the first of the two screws. And I'll put that second one in. These are desirable reels and they're pretty renowned. You can see the materials that are in them. They're very good materials. The engineering is simple or relatively simple. You don't see that dual uh, override in the anti-reverse, but one's a click function and one's the actual uh, anti-reverse dog, but both function as that. All right, the bearing goes on next. And then I got a replacement for the missing uh, washer here. That little washer is for the keep that bearing uh, lubricated. I'm just going to nest that in the case the way it belongs. Now oil it up so that it can transfer that oil over. And then we can take the case and put that over the top and get that seated properly. what I like to hear, a nice solid click. Check all around your casing, make sure that it's nice and tight. And we need to find the three screws that tighten this up. So this was a replacement handle for this reel. The original one I understand, I think this is Carlos's reel, I understand that it, the original handle had broken and then he got this one as a replacement. And uh, Again, the issue seems to be that there's a little collar piece that's missing there. Or at least the adaptation of this one does not have a collar on it. And uh, that was the cause of the problem. But we also saw that over the life of this reel, this reel did get uh, some damage to those gear teeth. And that's why it had to be repaired. All right. So we have the uh, felt washer there is, is holding to the bearing. Again, this is a bush fix. It's a line guide, but it happens to be perfect fit. And uh, we're just going to put this in now. Now, the one final thing that you would do if you were servicing this reel, and I've done it already. I'm not going to take it apart for this particular video. Pull a C-clip ring out of here. Check your drag washers by removing these pieces. And uh, make sure that they are cleaned, free of corrosion and uh, are able to operate smoothly. All right, with that done, we can put the adjuster back on. We don't have that set. The top, uh, top washer is not aligned. There we go. A quick little trick. Turn this upside down if you're having trouble lining it up. 
because the first ring well, oftentimes will go in, but the second won't. Just turn it upside down, get them in the proper perspective, and then once you tighten it down. Yep, now we have a tight one. All right, let's give it a try. Jeez, like new. Like new. All right, we're going to work on that bail, but uh, you now know how to... Oh, there you go. Just needs a little encouragement. You now know how to replace the main gear and the pinion gear on a Pen 6500 SS. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, I hope you've learned something from it. Um, to all who are first responders and essential personnel, thank you for everything it is that you do. And to everybody, please stay safe, stay well. I wish you great fishing. This is, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Have a fantastic day.